Welcome to the session of Human Resource Management. I am Alma Chaudhary, Assistant Professor, Saint Albert's College, Autonomous, and Dhaka. Today we will discuss about human resource management and its role in the organization. Human resource is treated as the most important asset of the organization because without human resource, an organization cannot do anything. That is why we treat human resource as the most important asset of the organization. Human resource management, which simply means it is the management of entire workforce in the organization. Human resource management is the process of employing people, training them, compensating them, developing policies relating to them, and developing strategies to retain them. Then we will discuss about the role of human resource management in the organization. Human resource or employees are treated as the backbone of the organization. That is, the organization tries to attain their objectives through through the employees. That is why they say is that employees are the backbone of the organization. That also indicates the role of human resources in the organization. The major role of human resource management includes staffing, development of workplace policies, training and development, dealing with loss affecting employment, retention, employee workers protection, communication, etc. First one is staffing. Staffing involves the entire hiring process from posting a job to negotiate a salary package. Staffing has certain procedures. First one is development of a staffing plan. Development of a staffing plan means the organization have to determine how many staffs they have to recruit in their organization, and they have to decide their compensation package also. The next one is recruitment. Recruitment involves finding people to fill the open positions. There are two sources of recruitment that includes internal sources and external sources. Internal sources means the employees are recruited within the organizations. That is, they use transfer, transfer method or promotion strategies to fill the open positions in the organization. And external recruitment means uh, organization adopt different ways to recruit the employees. That includes advertisement, campus placement, etc. The next one is selection. Actually, in the selection stage, people will be interviewed and selected, and a cop and a proper compensation package will be negotiated. And the selection steps will be followed by training, retention, and motivation, etc. And the next one is development of workplace policies. We know that every organization has their own policies. An organization develop different policies and procedures to attain the strategies. So the organization adopts different policies and procedures to attain the objectives. Policies and procedures of the organization are also an important factor that attracts the employees to the organization. Uh, Policies of the organization includes discipline pol process policies, dress code, ethics policies, etc. The next one is compensation and benefit administration. We know that salary is one of the most important motivating factor. The organization wants to provide fair package to the employees. That is, they have to determine their compensation po policies on the basis of industrial standards. At the same time, they have to consider the employee's experience, education level, and organization is, law, is also liable to meet employee's expectation to an extent. The next one is retention. It is very difficult to retain the employees in the organization in the present scenario. That is, organization wants to design fair HR policies to retain the, to retain the employees. That is, they have to provide better package to the employees and uh, employees, they expect monetary and non-monetary benefits from the organization. An organization is also liable to meet employees' expectations to an extent. The next one is training and development. Training plays a vital role in the organization. 
Once the employees are hired, the organization is liable to provide an opportunity to the employees for the growth. So that is why they have to provide proper training to the employees. Training is also an important motivating factor. If an organization provides better training to the employees, that helps to increase employees' productivity and it also helps to increase employees' satisfaction level also. If an organization wants to stick on in the present competitive world, they have to increase employees' productivity. So if an organization wants to increase employees' productivity and skills, they have to provide better training to the employees. Then let's look dealing with those affecting employment. That is, HR person should need proper awareness about the labor rules and employees' wages related rules will employees wages related rules and regulations etc that is they need awareness about discrimination rules healthcare requirements etc and uh, they have to update with the rules and regulations in the society next one is workers protection workers protection is also an important aspect in human resource management it is the responsibility of the organizations to ensure workers' safety. So they have to implement proper safety policies in the organizations. Next one is communication. We know the significance of communications in the organization. That is, the organization wants to communicate the rules and regulations to the employees. Employees need proper awareness about the rules and regulations of the organization. And employees should also need an opportunity to communicate their grievances to the organization. So the organization wants to entertain both upward and downward communication in the organization. At the conclusion, I would like to say is that human resource management plays a vital role in the organization because without proper HR policies, an organization cannot attain anything. The organ if an organization wants to achieve their objectives, they have to consider the employees' needs, wants, and employees also want an opportunity to communicate their grievances to the organization. So HR department wants to design proper HR policies in the organization with the help of other departments in the organizations. HR department also wants to consider the needs of the employees. At the same time, they have to meet the expectations of the organization also. Thank you.